Hey everybody, it's me, it's Margaret. Hello, how are you tonight? I am here with the rest of the garage sale jewelry haul that I had from this past weekend, but things have been crazy. So, <sighs> deep breaths. I have got the rest of the jewelry from the garage sale haul to show you guys, and I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna lie though, it's been, I feel like I'm repeating myself, crazy. Um, yeah, my guys got sick. My my youngest who has asthma, like had a really bad asthma attack. I'm just gonna, honestly, let's just be honest tonight. I need this. I need to like vent and just be like, everybody, catch me. I'm falling. Anyway, so that's what's happening. Um, it's it's been nuts trying to take care of sick kids and maybe homeschool <laughs> and anything else. And so, so this is the first time we did we did the munch pack last night, which was good. But what why is it? Okay, moms and dads out there, why is it it's always in the middle of the night? Like they seem to be doing better in the day. And then when that nighttime hits, oh my gosh, they just it just takes over again. So there hasn't been a lot of sleep over here. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, but let me say hey in the chat. Thanks for coming to hang out, you guys. Hi, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden. Hi, Susan, Jennifer. Hey, Jude, Yvonne, and Tracy. Thanks so much for coming. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, honestly. Okay, let's just jump into it, and we'll just go. All right, so in this bag, there is jewelry. Um, one of the garage sales we went to, the lady had a ton of jewelry, and I guess the, the daughter was there, and she was saying that the mom's jewelry selling had put her through college, which I love to hear, uh, but the mom, you know, was older and getting out of the business. So I spent, what for what's in the bag, $49. Hey, Shepard. Hi, Anita. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if I said hey. Okay, so let's do this. Um... And we'll just go. I don't know exactly how much things were. I mean, certain things were a buck or two. And then, yes, deep breath. Oh, my gosh. We stayed in yesterday. Like, we canceled everything. You know, we had dyslexia. We had, you know, piano lessons, everything we had. We just, we stayed in and hibernated. And then I thought it was going to be better. We ended up at the doctor today, so... My one, one of my guys ends up with an ear infection. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. Right. <laughs> so it's been, oh my gosh. But I did get up and do my hair. That's a perk. Right. So, all right. First up, we've got, I really like these kind of bracelets. I don't wear them, but I really like picking them up. Um, So it's this kind of brass metal with inlaid um, mother of pearl. And if I misspeak tonight. Oh, well, I can't. I'm sorry. I mean, it's got one of these like pin drop closures, which I love. So that was cool. Um, as far as I have sold something like this before, and right now I can't remember how much I sold it for, but I'm guessing probably around the $25 mark is what I list that at. And oh, speaking of that, I've started trying to get acclimated with Poshmark. I haven't listed anything right now, but I've started sharing, and I guess I, I don't know if I have my Poshmark username or anything. It, it, I'm on there. If you find me, great. I'll see you there and I'll follow you back. Um, anyway, so we'll see how that goes in the new year. I'm planning the new year to really start going, but pardon me, trying to get acclimated with it anyway. So, um, next up I got these really cute, like silver and brass, like cowboy earrings. I just thought they were cute. Um, and they are marked. So let's flip those around so you can see. Uh, Mexico 925 and then there's some other numbers. Hey Janet. Hi my little corner of Georgia. Thanks for coming This is left if you just got here. This is from um, Saturday's garage sailing <laughs> Okay, this one's fun. I really like this one. I am not a hundred percent what it is made from though So it's all of these What do you guys say? I mean, it's some kind of natural material do you think it's corn? I'm not, I'm, I don't know exactly what it is. But if you do, please let me know. 
but it it feels like like these parts these feel like some kind of natural something they're not plastic they kind of feel plasticky but i don't think they are okay so there's that um just thought it was interesting and again i would have to look this up looks like claws yeah but i i don't know that they really are claws do you think they're really really claws i don't think so really i don't know hey joe how's it going oh hey georgia so i don't know and it's got i think i should do this already yeah yeah <laughs> okay next she had a few of these which i really enjoy picking up and selling they're you know like gold dipped leaves i i'm almost positive the chains are not gold or anything but um no they're magnetic but people still tend to like these so you know probably 15 or so dollars there goes the magnet oh well hi lydia oh my gosh thanks for coming all right we uh, yeah tangles um next i really liked this i you know it's just a braided seed bead necklace um aren't they nice yeah those gold dip leaves so this is really pretty you know again probably a buck or two because everything was $49. The weird thing was like, so James was, James had gone out with me this weekend and I'm, I bought all this jewelry from this lady and he had picked up a few things. One of the things he picked up was a necklace that was, you know, in her big tub of stuff. And he ended up putting it back because he was spending some of his own money. So he put it back. And the lady was like, when we, when I got done paying like nearly $50 for all this stuff, she looks at him and is like, where is that necklace? Like really accusatory. Where is that necklace you had? And I had seen him put it back, you know, and I, oh, he put it back. Well, she directly went back to the little tub and started digging through it. Like, where is it? You said you put it in here. It's not in here. I don't see it. Like, seriously, lady, if we were going to like throw it in, I just spent $49. I would have just thrown it in and bought it for another buck. He's not stealing. I watched him put it back. No. Well, anyway. <laughs> I was just, it was very bizarre to me, but whatever. Um, cause it was just like what, it was like one strand of this. It was like that. One of these strands like that. Um, I don't know. Hey, who knows? You run into all kinds of people when you're garage sailing. Let's just put it that way. All right. So this is a cute little, like, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. You know, cute beads, stones, shells. Anyway. Um, Oh, David, thank you. That would be so cool. That would brighten my day. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and you know what? I almost started hanging up my stuff yesterday back here because the kids were sick and we had mostly a sick day. I cleaned up in here and I was going to start hanging, it, hanging up my stuff, but that would be awesome. This is true, Lydia. People can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then this was another piece that I got from her, which is cool. She did have really nice stuff. It was a super cold morning. And I was going to, I was digging through some of her tubs that she had, like, she has, jewel, she had, like, three big tubs full of, like, jewel, uh, like, earrings and stuff on cards like this. But you know when the weather is so cold that, like, all these little corners start, like, slicing into your skin and it's just, like, painful? Like, I really wanted to dig through them a lot more. But I was getting, <laughs> I was getting cut. <laughs> they cut me. Anyway, so... <laughs> I got some and then I just had to give up because it was it was hurting. It was hurting. So I this is some kind of you know stone. It's not jade, but um that Asian motif. It's pretty cool. Might be a Joan Rivers. This one? Oh, I'll have to look it up. Cute. Okay, so there's that. She had really cool stuff, you know. She had really cool stuff. <laughs> okay, super cold. It wasn't 12 degrees. It was like or I'm not gonna, maybe 50, <laughs> maybe 50. I can't remember. Last night it got cold again in the thirties last night. I think it's supposed to get in the twenties tonight, which I am not used to because Houston doesn't generally get that cold. Now I'm looking to see. I hope you guys don't mind. I just need, and then speaking of that, okay, tonight is supposed to, oh, 32 or is that, no, 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 tonight, 28. I'm seeing 28. That's cold. The lucite piece. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I missed. I missed. Okay. Um, which one was Lucite? I, I I totally missed it then. You'll have to tell me. Okay. <laughs> hey, Pat's and Patricia, how's it going? Um, so then these ones, I really liked those. So those were another pair. Um, and she had some really cool bracelets. Can you find me? There's a couple of these. Oh, where'd it go? They look like this. They're like, they look like weapons, right? I, I thought they were cool. But they look like serious. It's like, yeah. <laughs> if I were in a better mood, I would do like a serious Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel, like when she's like really going to town, like these are some weapons that she might have with her, you know, when she needs to fight fisticuffs, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so there's those cool bracelets. And you know what, speaking of that, let's do it. I, I need to cheer up. And so all these earrings that I just bought are coming off. That one fell on the floor. And we're just going to put on the happy earrings. We are going to put on the, the happy ones. The really, really, really happy ones. There we go. Yeah, I think they're bracelets. There. Better? Do we feel better? Not yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> if you missed the haul when I got these, you'll have to go back and watch it. Because... <laughs> it's well worth it. Okay, next is this really cool necklace. It's got this big piece of shell. And, I mean, it's this kind of shell necklace doesn't normally, get, you know, like if it was just a, a necklace that had that. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, gosh, why can't I think of words? Y'all help me. Like shell chips, right? Yeah, but I really liked it. It seemed like it was very well put together and had a nice clasp. So, saw them as a stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's. I mean, that, I really feel like they could. They could do some damage. I'd. Uh, I'd be almost worried that it would hurt my hand. But this is. It's very pointy. Very pointy indeed. Okay. <laughs> yes. They are the party, <laughs> these earrings. I just, I don't think I can get rid of them though. Like even if I don't ever wear them, I think just having them in my jewelry mirror, like I have one of those jewelry mirrors that you open. Um, I think just opening that, that and seeing them in there would make me smile every day. So <laughs> I just have to keep them in there for me to, <laughs> for me to smile at. Okay, then this was in there. I thought, well, this was really nice. It's got this nice red stone inset there and all these little pretty red seed beads and a cool, like, hook-type clasp. So there's that. So we're still within the 49. I did get, hey, Stacy Squad. Hi, Marie. I know I have missed saying hi to people. Okay, the next one I think is bone and horn and some kind of stone. Um, so here's the hook on that. Very like primitive sort of looking. And then these bone pieces. And these are some sort of stone. They're very cold to the touch. I don't even know. The red. Oh, it could be. Yeah, sure. And I'll have to double check that the piece. I just thought it was really neat. Um, I don't know. In the moment, I was like, that's pretty cool. But that, yeah, these are some kind of stone. There. And it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. And I almost, I feel like I got two of those. Yep, there it is. Yeah, yeah, very tribal. There's the other one. I was like, I think I got two. There's the hook on it. Boom. What, do, uh, what does bone... Oh, the bone the bone part just feels like room temperature, right? That's just but these stones, these ones are cold. When I when I hang on to them, when I touch them, cold. Uh expensive to ship necklaces. So, like this one, if I had to guess how much it weighed, I would say maybe like 10 ounces. So I maybe three, three fifty, maybe about three bucks to ship that. Cause then I would put it in a little like six by four by four box. 
Y'all, if I start talking like, I feel like I'm doing that a lot, but you know when you watch a show and you start picking up mannerisms from people in the show? Do you, okay, I'm not saying a bad word, but if you guys have Netflix, have you been have you watched the show Shit's Creek? And I feel like I keep catching myself doing this little like head thing because the daughter like does that in the show. I don't know why. Anyway, anyway, whatever. But do you ever find yourself doing that? And I just saw my, felt myself do it, and I was like, why am I doing that? Anyway, so let's make everything awkward. Why not? If you haven't watched it, it's quite funny. If you like, it's got Eugene Levy and his son. It's very funny. Anyway, okay. So then some more stone necklaces. These, these like kind of orangey red ones. And then, do you shoot? I'm like, I feel like such a nut. I don't know. Just put it out there. This, the green in there looks, that green looks like malachite. I can see the stripies. The blue mm, might be like a sodalite. I don't think it would be a, not lapis, because that would be a lot of lapis. So I, I'd have to look at the blue ones closer. I don't think, I'm not sure that all of the green ones are malachite when I look. Well, maybe. That's malachite. That's malachite. Yeah, that's malachite. Okay, and then these, um, I I have to look. I'm not 100% right now what those are. Okay, are you a TM? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're watching live. I thought you meant watching the other show. Yeah. Okay, now this is a really cool necklace. So it's got these, like, kind of arrowy pieces, and they're, you know, they're very articulated. That's the word I'm thinking of. You think it is lapis? That's a lot of lapis, though. Ah, okay. Um, maybe, maybe like a red jasper. They're kind of orangey. Okay, so, but this, I think is like a dyed bone. So, tell me if you think I'm wrong, because it's possible. Absolutely. But, like, here you can see kind of like that bone pocking that, I don't know the exact term for it, where it's kind of like, Pocked away, you know, chipped away at, but then it's all yellow. So I think it's dyed bone, but it's really cool. You think it's coral? Yeah, Powerpuff Girls, yeah. Um, or the other one. Okay, I sometimes when y'all comment, I don't know if you're talking about this one or the one before. I think the one before. But yeah, I thought it was so cool. It almost like when I first saw it before I touched it, I thought, oh, that might be like a, a plastic, like one of those vintage plastic ones. Someone else gave me the word scales. Or oh, see, look, cool. Very cool. Yeah. So on this one, I don't know what the price would be. Yeah, I think it is. I think it might be bone. You can see. Yeah. I don't think I've ever come across anything quite like that. So I'm not sure what the price would I would. The other thing this lady kept saying, everything I picked up, she was like, that's real. Whatever it is, it's real. Real stone. Real. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Whatever it is, it's real. So, yeah. Okay, so I got this necklace. It's got like a barrel clasp on it with these black beads and little freshwater pearls. So cute. Hey, bum crack picker. I'm having one of those nights. And then I always pick up these garnet beads. So these are a little garnet, a garnet bead necklace. I know I'm not saying what I think things are going to go for because I feel like right now I just can't be trusted. I'm, I'm so out of it, honestly. I know I've looked this up before. Yeah, the, the black and white one, it's really classy, you know. I think so. Oh, I bought a bunch of jewelry. Surprise. I bought a bunch of jewelry. It's from somebody in one of the groups, um, but I bought it today, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you guys, because it's a lot, a lot, um, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, the camera down to show it, or like this. I'm not quite sure. It would take a number of videos to share it, though, because it is a lot. All right, so we've got this one with these little black seed beads and a really pretty, like, silver heart. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. 
So I was going through the lot that I bought from this lady today. And there was, you know, some uh, quite a bit of sterling silver, a little bit of gold. There's another one of those. And just, okay, where did you go? There's one of those cards. Um, just a ton of stuff. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to share it. I'm trying to figure it out. But I think I'm going to have to, like, hold off on buying anything because I spent a lot of money on the lot. But I, it's going to be worth it. So this is the other pair of earrings that I got from the lady. So there are these silver with inlay, abalone, really pretty moons, moons. Okay, so that was what I got for $49. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll have to double check it. I keep, these, these earrings make noise, which I, I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I can replicate over here, but um, I don't know. Anyway, they, they make noise. So, okay. All right. Next, um, at a garage sale, I got this bag for 50 cents. Not because I thought, normally, you know, like normally if I buy a bag of something, I want to see that I can make my money back on it. I think I can. But even if I put some stuff in a craft lot, I think I'd make my money back. But then these beads, I think these ones right here are glass, which I can give to my, my sister. So I didn't even open it up. So we'll see what's in there. There's a bag. Then are these glass? I, no, I thought they might be, but they're not. They're plastic. Because I've seen some little like blown glass beads that look like this. And my sister, you know, makes um, wind chimes and sun catchers and stuff like that. And I thought those might be glass, but they're not. Okay, plastic. I got her some yellow ones that were similar to this. Oh, well, but still in a craft lot, they look like pieces of bubble gum, don't they? Do you remember that like bubble gum that used to come in the plastic? It was like that long and there was like one of each color in there. And it, they, this was what that reminds me of. I can't remember what they're called, but they would come in a little plastic wrapper. So, I mean, I think for 50 cents, you know, hey. Oh, thanks, Jude. Yes, thumbs up, everyone. So this could go in my surfer lot if I do a surfer lot. <laughs> It's broken, so they'll probably just go into a craft lot. Honestly, most of this will, but yeah, maybe. There's that one, one of those. I don't know. I mean, are, tell me, if you're not, if you don't live on the coast, do you find this kind of necklace as much as we do here? I mean, I know I'm not on the coast anymore, but when I was living towards the coast, you know, in Galveston, Houston area, we'd find these a lot. Um, the green one was your favorite. Um, so do you guys find stuff like this in Kansas where there's not surfers and stuff? I, maybe there are surfers. I'm, I'm, yeah, anyway. All right, then there are these little wooden beads. These are cute. I think, it, I mean, I think for 50 cents, this is a broken one. Yes, I love them. Okay, you find them a lot good. Okay, just curious, you know. There's another and another. I think I could lock them up and if you were having a surfer party or a luau, maybe. Yes, yes. There's that. Okay. This one's actually kind of pretty, even though I think it's broken. But the, they have dyed them, so they're a nice, really pretty color. It makes me think of a cruise, going on a cruise. But yeah, there's no clasp or anything. Oh, yes. They still sell them here in the summer. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Again, this one, similar to the blue that I just had. But the blue one is prettier. So, yeah, it'll probably just go into a lot. Just for, I don't know. It was like 50 cents. Okay. Oh, this one's a little bit different. This one has got more... Ooh, it's like stone... I'm trying to see if I can, my lighting's not good right now. I can't really tell what color some of the stones are in there. Mostly black, I guess. That's for the like emo surfer. And then some bits at the bottom. I think overall for 50 cents, that was a good deal. Even if they end up in a lot. Yeah. The blue necklace, a shell. Yeah, I think, I think it's just dyed. I think these ones are just like those shells. 
like that mother of pearl kind of shell, but just dyed, you know, blue. Yeah. I think. Again. I think. All right. So that was 50 cents for all of that. And then the rest of it, I just got at random other garage sales. Some of it is tangled. And that's okay. We're just going to be okay with that. I bought, I've been buying little headbands for myself to clean up, to put, I think I'm going to try that, you know, there it goes. I bought a couple lately, so I'm going to try wearing little headbands. They always end up giving me headaches, but if you haven't noticed this about me, I have a huge head. Um, I, yeah, or some may say I'm big headed, but <laughs> I really do. Like those one size fit all hats don't ever fit on me because I have like a big noggin. So anyway, um, can you do a video on gems basic? Oh, thanks. I, I would like to, I, I honestly, I was feeling bad earlier because I've been talking in the group about doing, about starting, um, the tutorials again. And I was planning on starting uh, the tutorials again in November. I even put out a big feeler, like, what do you guys want to learn about? And now it's, I feel like we're halfway through November and I haven't started yet, but it's just like one thing after another, you know? It'll happen. Maybe I should just keep saying in the new year for everything. In the new year, I'll start again. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I would. I would definitely like, I, I really enjoy that a lot. So someday, someday my prince will come or I will have time to do the things I want to do. One or the other. Um, oh, thank you. Because I've done some. I've done some. But mostly like, what have I done? Amber, plastics, jet, like black stuff, black stones. Uh, best shells remain jewelry. Good. Oh, okay. That's. I have to. I have to write it down. I will forget. I just realized this has got a little bit. It's kind of broken. Like it bent out, and so this piece is kind of broken out. So that'll go into a lot. A uh, little. It's really bent up. I don't know. So maybe it was just in the pile of random bracelets I got. I, I like these, even though I find them around, I really like the look of them. So I don't mind picking them up because personally I like them. Hi, Scrap and Rooster, how's it going? How's it going? Okay, then I got this one. It says lifeguard on it. I ought to send it to Jason. There's that. I, I don't know what it had on it. It must have had something, but okay. Oh, I need to share that. Uh, he's got a class coming up. If you're wanting to sell CDs, he's doing a, a class on selling CDs. Um, I picked up these two rings and they are marked. Or, here, here it is. Let's see. Sorry I'm off tonight, you guys. They are marked Sugar Fix. Are they both Sugar Fix? That's a new one to me, Sugar Fix. Okay. Hey, going on, Grumpy? How's it going? I'm planning on doing a, a um, oh gosh, an auction Thursday night. So I have to talk to Cindy and see if she's down for doing an auction. Okay, I'm going to try to detangle. Cause I got some cool stuff. This bracelet, I already detangled you earlier on purpose. Cause I wanted to show you. I really liked this bracelet. It really likes to get tangled up though. Hang on. There it is. All right. So this really pretty bracelet, it's got like two rows of these green inlay type stone. Looks like this. I don't know. I just, I thought it was pretty. Uh Oh, you have a lot of sugar fix jewelry. Okay, cool, cool. So there's this bracelet. It's one of those that I would be tempted to keep, but I know I just probably would never, never wear it. So there's that. And okay, this one. I I'm so off. Hey, hey. Yeah, right. More cake. Bring on the cake. Have you guys started eating pumpkin pie yet? Say yes, make me feel better. We got a pumpkin pie at H-E-B the other day, and 
We've been eating, this is a really long chain. We've been eating a lot of pumpkin pie the last couple days. So it's a very long chain with a caged little stone in it. Oh, thanks, Georgia. Thank you. Eggnog. Oh, no. There are two kinds of people in this world. Eggnog people and non-eggnog people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is about eggnog that just... And I think I'm the only one in my family that's just like, ma, no, I can't. I think it's, I don't know if it's the texture or just the egg. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, are you okay, Nif Nif Hooray? Oh, no. Okay, so peppermint schnapps. Oh, send it over, Jude. No fair. <laughs> Did you bring enough for the whole class? <laughs> okay, then there's this necklace. <laughs> That, yeah, it doesn't have a, it's sort of a choker. Maybe it's the nog, yeah. <laughs> I'm not an eggnog person either. I would like to say I've tried to like it, but I've tried it and I don't like it. I don't, I don't know why. It seems like the things in it I would like, because it's pepperminty. I mean, not pepperminty, but cinnamon. It's got cinnamon in it. Y'all, I am not going to even do this to you tonight. So this has got a bunch of chains. There is a Tinkerbell in here somewhere. Let's see if we can't find her. There she is. There's Tinkerbell. And there's some really cute beady. I have to detangle this, honestly. It's just and a hand, just in case. A hand. I think, yeah, the raw eggs. I think you're right. I think that might be it. I like eggs. Oh my gosh, pecan pie. Yes. I used to not like pecan pie because of the gelatinous center, but now I love it. <laughs> like it like the 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 consistency of the middle part of the pecan pie with the the gooey gel. Yeah. It's not raw these days though with everything being pasteurized. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get through it. I'm a peppered vodka, spicy V8, ones every. Oh, that sounds kind of good. That sounds the best. Mm, is that like a Bloody Mary? Because that sounds like a Bloody Mary. The best Bloody Marys I ever had were in Baltimore. They were so good. <laughs> they were so good. It's been a while. Well, that's that for what I had left over. I did, you know, I was saying I bought this haul from a. Um, a member from the jewelry group today and it was her mother-in-law's I think is what she said jewelry that she was planning on starting selling but then couldn't it was and I get it from going through my grandmother's stuff I get things being overwhelming so I <laughs> sorry Jude so I have I mean I spent a lot you know I spent a lot but I think it's gonna very easily make my money back um, when not when selling it because they're just going through it. I found a couple pieces of gold quite a bit of silver one James Avery piece um, <laughs> <still having. laughs> Oh, you don't like jello because it jiggles anyway, I'm trying to figure out How to go through this stuff and share with you guys and also I want to be sensitive because I know you know it, it's different when it's like random garage sale jewelry or somebody's jewelry jars and I can be silly, but like, I feel like I don't want to be silly with it. If I find fun things like this, um, because it's somebody's mother-in-law who's passed away. So I'm just like, how am I going to go? How do I share? Because I want to show you guys, but then I also want to be respectful. Yeah. They're still talking about eggnog in the chat. So I guess that's something I have to figure out. Cause one, it would take a number of videos and two, I don't want to be silly with it. Not too disrespectful. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Crossing my fingers, I'm going to get my, I have all, look, here, I'll show you. I have all of my stuff right over here that I need to hang up. Um, it's ready to go. So I just have to get the hammer upstairs. That's, it's going to take a while. Um, yeah. But I appreciate you guys coming to hang out because I sure needed it. <clears throat> I sure needed it. Okay, I'll I'll tell you the 
It's uh, the elephant in my room. It's not the elephant in your room, probably. <clears throat> but I spent 500 bucks on this lot. So it's if that can give you a hint of how big it is that I bought from this lady today. And I told my husband I'm not going to be buying anything for a while because I just spent 500 bucks on a lot from a lady. But, you know, just from going through it, it, it will very easily, I'll very easily be able to make my money back on it. So, all right. Thanks for coming to hang out. It's been a rough few days. Um, I do. I do. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I do. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out. It, it's been a rough few days like with sick kids and some really honestly part of it was like I had a really couple of every now and then I get really repulsive comments and you know I get negative comments all the time which I just like ah, whatever but I've had it like the last a couple days I had a couple that were really repulsively vulgar and horrible and I don't normally let things get to me but I was like er you know I don't wanna, hmm. um so it's been kind of yucky. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to go wash my face and try to get some sleep tonight. And I hopefully we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I had some other things. Um, I have some haul, I mean, some ride alongs to edit, to put out. And I have some gold that I want to test over there for you guys. And we'll just get there. But thanks. Um, this is true. <laughs> thanks, Stacy. You're right. You're right. And normally it doesn't get to me, but I don't know, maybe because I've been sick and not, I'm not sick, but the kids have been sick and I'm exhausted and I just look at my phone and that's what pops up. And I'm like, great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye y'all.